Hello, this is Rochelle Dupuy and Kyle Hope from the University of Connecticut here to give a presentation on the use of ion exchange resins in water softening. This presentation was inspired by the AICHE conference paper, Development of Ion Selective Thermal Reversible Polymers by Schward FGM von Nispen. In the following slides, we will discuss what ion exchange is, the structure of ion exchange resins, and how they are used in the water softening process. So why soften water in the first place? Because hard water, or water that has an appreciable amount of dissolved minerals, can shorten the life of household appliances and decrease the effectiveness of cleaning products. Although soft water, which replaces these dissolved minerals with sodium, can solve these sorts of problems, it can be harmful to those who are supposed to be on low sodium diet. Alright, so before we can understand the process of water softening, we have to understand its component parts, the most important of which is a process known as ion exchange. Ion exchange is, most generally, a type of separation where unwanted ions can be removed from a solution. It's a reversible chemical reaction that takes the general form as shown on the slide. AB plus CD gives AD plus CB. The general form is easy and something we've all seen, so let's first learn what AB represents. AB will be, for our purposes anyway, the ion exchange resin, which is also the center of this discussion. An ion exchange resin is normally an organic copolymer known as styrene divinyl benzene. The image you see on the left is the repeating block of the polymer, and it has been sulfonated to provide a functional group, a common practice in industry. The functional group is what we're interested in, and we'll find that for different applications, different functional groups are used. Ion exchange resins can be classified into two general categories, cation and anion exchangers. Cation exchangers dissociate in solution and provide positively charged ions, which can be swapped for unwanted ions in another solution. Ion exchange resins are created and sold according to their functional group. For instance, there are resins that give sodium ions, which are used in most water softeners to replace hardness ions, and there are resins which give hydrogen ions in solution, which are substituted in to make exceptionally pure water. Cation exchange resins can be further classified as strong acid or weak acid because they mimic the behavior of those substances. Strong acid cation exchangers have an exchange capacity that is independent of solution pH because they dissociate well. But what is exchange capacity, you ask? Good question. Exchange capacity refers to the amount of ions a resin can exchange before being exhausted. Since ions are exchanged, and this is a chemical reaction which follows the laws of the universe, there must be a balance of charge. If we want to get rid of an ion like calcium with a plus 2 charge and replace it with a plus 1 charged sodium ion, we need 2 sodium ions for every calcium ion. This means that two sites on the resin polymer will be exhausted for every molecule of solution that passes through it. Similarly, exchanging for a plus 1 ion like potassium would create an even ratio. This is the concept of exchange capacity, and strong acid cation exchange resins have an exchange capacity independent of solution pH. On the other hand, the exchange capacity of weak acid cation exchangers does depend on solution pH. The graph on the screen shows the effect of solution pH on exchange capacity for both weak acid and weak base exchange resins. Weak base and strong base anion exchangers exhibit behaviors similar to those substances. Now that we know what chemical reaction is taking place, we can study the actual process. For us to do this, we'll need to understand the terms you see on the screen. First, a feed solution simply refers to the solution that is being purified, deionized, softened, whatever. It is fed into a large stainless steel or reinforced fiberglass tank where, depending on the application, it passes through either a series of beds or a mixture of exchange resins. In a batch system, which contain, contains hundreds of liters of cation and anion exchangers mixed together, the solution flows through and simultaneously exchanges positive and negative ions. However, this is very inefficient, and the prevalent technology uses a mixed bed column system where the feed solution passes through a series of separate cation and anion exchange beds. When it comes out at the end of the cycle, the feed solution is free of the unwanted ions and may even change in, in appearance, as seen in this YouTube video. Eventually, though, the resin reaches its exchange capacity and must go through the process of regeneration. Most systems are capable of utilizing a computer system to determine when to start the regeneration process, which takes between one and two hours. Regeneration begins by backwashing the system to dislodge any trapped particles and to fluidize the resin. This is followed by a slow wash with the regenerant solution, which is simply a dissociative solution that provides the ions necessary for exchange, such as hydrochloric acid or sodium hydroxide. Next, another slow rinse occurs, this time with water, in order to remove any residual regenerant solution. Finally, a fast rinse takes place as an extra precaution against residual regenerant solution. At this point, regeneration is complete and the resin can be used for another cycle. 
This slide visually demonstrates the process of ion exchange and water softening. The image on the left shows dissolved magnesium and calcium ions being exchanged with the sodium ions through the resin. The image on the right shows a domestic water softening system that uses the process of ion exchange. There are many processes that use ion exchange, including metal separation, pharmaceuticals, and juice purification, but it is most commonly used in water purification, softening, and decontaminant processes. Some ion exchange resins, like a cholesteramine, are used as active ingredients in the pharmaceutical industry, while others act as excipients in drug transfer. Related technologies that also accomplish separation are reverse osmosis, which you've likely heard of, and the technology used in the paper that started this discussion, which you may not have heard of. The authors of the paper slightly changed the process by adapting the polymer for a specific purpose. So finally, remember that ion exchange is a reversible chemical process that separates unwanted ions from solution by replacing them with different ions. This process takes place through an ion exchange resin, which is an organic copolymer where the ions are swapped. In water softening, hard water flows through a mixed bed column system where hardness ions are swapped with sodium or hydrogen ions. Finally, these ion exchange resins may be regenerated once they are exhausted for further use.